Hey everybody, you could really help out the podcast by going to jmore.com, clicking the Amazon link, and buying whatever you want. Tweet what you bought, and I will talk about it on the show. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate you helping us out. Put your name on it. Just put your name on it. That's all I say. Be a man or a woman. Put your name on it. Well, I'd like to hear about it, potheads. How the fuck you gonna know how to be great if you don't study greatness? Look at the game change. Don't no, that's I work with you a lot. Oh, yeah! Here we are, nice. more stories. We got a get. It's a get. It's Ken Marino. It's a you're a get, dude. Yeah, you actually are. You're you're like a big guest to get have. Well, that's nice to hear. Thanks. It's true. I mean, you got th- this great web series, Burning Love, which is super funny. I'm you're, proud of it. You're changing the game of web of web webisodes. Well, yeah. I mean, it's it's not you know like Louis C.K. putting out an entire special on like I don't know how he did it on YouTube or people paid for it on Amazon yeah like you and but Ben Stiller's company and yeah like the, the you got the band back together sort of you're gonna have to close that you got you sort of got the band back together some of them of the, of, of the state guys some you know yeah we get you know we always we always kind of uh, hang out with each other on projects we Natasha kind of, Leggero Kristen Bell sure and then uh, Ken Young Ken, Ken Jong, Jong, my yeah. buddy Adam Dr. Scott, Ken yeah Dr. Ken you got uh, you got uh, Abigail Spencer. You got uh, Janet Varney. You got yeah, um, I don't like Janet Varney. What? No, no, just, <laughs> I, it was just it was the next name out of the Wait hopper. A second, it was, just, it, was, it was just the ball that came up in the lotto <laughs> with her name on it. Um, it was the um, lottery of me being an insult person. <laughs> are you are you an insult comedian? No, you, never. No, you're I, not hate, an I hate comedian. that. I hate that. that, and I have to tell them in the beginning of the show, like. Hey, because I'll look down at the front row and they're like, no, 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 no. And I have to tell them, like, if you have to pee, go pee. Like, I don't, I don't care. Right. I don't care what you do for a living. Right. Because you work harder than me. Right. It's almost verbatim. And I always go, and I know where you're from, here, whatever town it is. Because, you know, for years, I've sat in my house and I've never had 400 people from Denver ring my doorbell, hand me a check and say, go. <laughs> so apparently I have to get on a plane, come here to see you. And then here we go. <laughs> and if you got to go drop a deuce, do your thing. I don't care. But do you break away from? But you, but you, you're pretty loose in your in your standup. Yeah, you know, I've always said uh, to people. Well, and I'll say it to you, obviously. So it's like, why not? Old, I'm right here. Yeah, I'm right here. I'm a fucking big boy, Anthony. Let him speak for himself. He knows what he said. What'd you say? Say it. <laughs> if, Am I funny to you? Fucking. How do you do it? How? Uh, those old switchboards from the 50s or 60s with the big wires, those operators yeah. that would connect. Yeah. Like, I know I got Walken, Tracy Morgan, and Norm MacDonald at the end of that. Ju- and a story about three different stories about taking LSD. Uh, <laughs> like, I got that last row. Right. So the rest of all those wires, tubes, and holes, I can just play. Right, right. For like 45, 50 minutes. And then I choose which two. To get out, where, where you, oh, but, so, but, but it's always. Uh, is it a surprise to you where you where you wind up? What what? what well, last? I mean, there's only four, so it's never a surprise. I mean, the end. I mean, the Eagles yeah. But you don't know. say I'm going to end with the Tracy Morgan story. You say no, I'm going to end with one of those, and I don't know where I'm going. I don't like and, ending with walking because I feel like I've been doing it so long. I like to do walk. I, sometimes I like to walk out and just start with walking. Sure. Because then they can't yell do walking. Get it out of the way. It's like are the Eagles surprised when they go into right, right. Hotel California? Right. Like that's a hit. It comes at the end. It's just which, which where, where do you put it? Right, right. I'm comparing myself to the Eagles. You are very similar Mostly to the Eagles. Joe Walsh. You're, you're very similar. I saw the Eagles at uh, the Hollywood Bowl. Horrible. Um, not Joe Walsh. Yeah, Joe Walsh. Killed the James it. Gang. That's what I'm killed all- it. Thank you. Killed it. Ken Marino keeps getting cooler and cooler. By the way, the rest the, of them were fine. You're the They're only. Fine. You're the second guest out of. Uh, we're up in our 60s now, where my son has saw and instantly Gary Goldman, great comedian. My son just saw and just instantly put his hands up like that guy. Pick me up. You, know, you walked in and my son just needed to be held by Ken Marino. You know what the trick is. I just, in the morning, I just kind of um, dip myself in breast milk. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's it's like of... a lotion. So it's, but it, it helps for uh, being friendly with children as well. <laughs> just walking around in breast milk. 
You know, yeah. there'd be that's quite a. I think that's niche porn. Yeah, <laughs> like just niche. guys being covered in breast milk. The lack, the lack. Oh yeah, my car just smells like milk. Not my wife's breast milk, but right. like milk. Because I'll milk? leave. I'll just leave bottles in there, and I forget. I'm like, I'll get it later, that. and it just turns. But that's how they make cottage cheese. Yeah. But why in my yeah. truck does people get in and go? Jesus Christ! Yeah. It smells like what sour happened milk? in here? Yeah. Uh, real quick, I want to give a shout out to AJ Bake. The best. And Andy Baker on Twitter uh, came out to me at a corporate gig the other night and said, Bro, I bought a lawnmower using the Amazon link at jmore.com. Uh, so here it is. At jmore at More Stories, uh, I got my lawnmower through jmore.com using the Amazon link. Grass cutting plus more stories equals hell yes. So there, I'm done with the laptop. Now we can talk about Ken Marino and how much he loves karaoke. I do like karaoke. I'm a I saw you on a talk fan. show singing Macy Gray. I did. I went on Conan and I sang. It was, it was kind of the first real talk show that I've done. It was the first time I've ever done a talk show like that. I mean, about four, 13 years ago, I, I, I did a little, uh, I don't know what you call Jack it, junket uh, when I was on Men Behaving Badly. And, um, and, and, but it was like, you know, the Terry Bradshaw morning show. He gave me a football, <laughs> signed football. And, uh, and, and one of the Wayans brothers had a talk show, and I went on those. But, like, other than that, Conan was like, that was like, I, so I was very nervous. And, um, and they, you know, did the pre interview, and I said, well, I can sing Macy Gray. And, and they're like, yeah, yeah, okay, well, com- come was in. Is it Frank Smiley? Did he- I think so. I and think so. All he says is, it's good. What else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're on the phone with this guy for two days. What else? You go out there for four minutes and you're like, what just happened? What else? You were in my life for a long weekend. (laughs) And I went out and we talked about, we went off the reservation and I sang Macy Gray. But, well, he he said, come in early and and sing with the band. And he wanted to see how, 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 what it was because, you know, he didn't know. And then I came in and I sang it. I'm proud of my Macy Gray. It's, and so when they heard it, he's like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's in the show. Yeah. You could do that. You know, like he he wasn't. I didn't realize that I was. Um, he was test. He was. I was being put through a little test to see if I could sing it on the show. That is odd that a producer would be like, like would think that maybe you'll come on and do it horribly, and like you're so delusional that you think, no, I do a great Macy Gray. Because <laughs> even if you do it horribly, it's great. Tell it's Kaufman esque right, and it's right. bizarreness. Right? He would have been like, yeah, he, yeah. It would have been you super like, embarrassing. And I get in trouble. Like you said in your voice, it would have been hilarious. Try to say goodbye, and I joke, <laughs> dude. Well you, well, you have to do it now. I can't do it without the music. Really? I mean, I can, but I don't want to. Please. You can go to YouTube and watch it. All right. Well, but no, we got to promote one thing. All right. Because it's too good not to promote. I don't want oh. people to get you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. sidetracked. You got to go to yahoo.com slash burninglove. Just go to burninglove.com. That's the easiest way to get there. Let me finish. Oh, go ahead. Mostly go to burninglove.com. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> that's the way to do it. Yeah. You're taking The Bachelor, The Bachelorette, and you're like turning it on its ear. Your wife wrote it, right? My wife wrote it. it, it uh, Did she create it or was it collaborative? She wrote it. She came up with it. She came up with the idea. She were actually wrote her, a short. Were you her first choice? Was I her first? <laughs> Did she make you read? She, we went through an extensive audition process. You were actually you were offer only. Ah! Oh, and uh, if and, I only read, yeah, you didn't. You, <laughs> we were like, you have to come in and read, and you're like, offer only. So, so we didn't. Uh, I'm so sorry, but uh, I was next in line, and I got it. I got it. That's got to be a dream. Like all I want to do is just create stuff with my wife and get it up and running. Because we're best friends, and right. you seen you and your wife seem to be like but your children are great. You're my obviously a family fabulous. guy. I love my wife, and so I love the idea. Uh, I, lo- I love that we are able to do this together, and it's it's been a fun project to do. But it was her, you know. I mean, like we we watched reality shows. I mean, there's, me too. Yeah. And um, and then she really got into these dating shows when she was pregnant with Riley. She was watching marathons. <laughs> And um, <laughs> she just went mad. She just yeah. She was just laying in bed. She's like, I don't want to get up. And Real like, Housewives of New not, Jersey, you know, month nine. You know, where she's like, get, when when is it happening? And so she would just sit and kind of zone out and watch. And then we started watching, you know, watching them a little bit more religiously. Excuse me. And um, and then she wrote this short that uh, Adam and Adam Scott and his wife are into the show, and they would come over, and we watch. You know, we watched a, f- a finale one. So year you guys and- would actually have reality TV watching parties. For, Not well, parties, one, but two couples. We, one. We had one. 
They, you, it was I mean, just that's them. a celebrity couple. They came over, yeah. and, they, and then they came over dressed like in a suit and like dressed <laughs> and, up. Like, and for the bachelor and, and they presented us a rose. Oh. Yeah, yeah. See, I would do it with like Real Housewives of Jersey and be like, hey, man, Team Judas? Yeah, yeah. Or, you know, or Team uh, I, whatever their I, name I, is. I, I, I stopped watching the Real Housewives. I couldn't, I can't, I, I, once, um, I just don't like how they talk in front of their kids. <laughs> <laughs> really, that's really enough. upsets me. It blowing really smoke. upsets me. The chick in Atlanta, the white girl with the where's the wigs, Kim Zolciak, is like smoking, blowing smoke in her kids' faces. It's it's really disturbing. It really it really turns me off. <laughs> so you're more like Bachelor, Bachelorette, Little Chocolatiers. I bet you really. What enjoy. I know, what I watch, I, you know, actually, it's more like um, uh, I don't know if you watch uh, the uh, Food Network, but like Sweet Genius. Do I watch the Food Network? Do, you watch like, food do Network? I watch the Barefoot Chopped. Contessa? You watch Barefoot Get- I Chopped, you watch Chopped. Look, look at that, you make a chicken and a man shows up. How bad could that be? <laughs> <laughs> Don't have too much fun without me. Yeah, she's she has fabulous. four gay what's, friends. What's up with her husband? Like, where does Jeffrey he go? Jeffrey with the poodle where hair, the Jufro. Go? Where does he go? Jeffrey was like in Nixon's cabinet. He's like an actual D.C. power guy. And so he's heading, he's always going to D.C.? Is that where he's heading? I think we put that in, in quotes. quotes. <laughs> I'm not sure. I, don't, I think maybe he's like at a dominatrix club getting his ball stepped on. <laughs> D.C. is... Because she always, like, every Friday she goes... I have, Coleman. Yeah, 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 Derek Coleman <laughs> comes in, writes a blank check, and goes, just fill it out later, whatever I owe you. And then they just, uh, they just the safe word is Chuck Daly. <laughs> they just step on each other's balls. Somebody yells out Kenny Anderson. You're like, nope. Whatever gets you through the night. <laughs> nope, that ain't it. Chuck Daly. And then they stop. Mason, I love that. I love that. Um, Ina, the big thing is whenever she has to make Jeffrey chicken, like when he comes home for the weekend, he when he sees his wife the chicken. one day of the week, <laughs> and then like she prepares the whole, the whole show is her making yeah. this chicken, super elaborate, and dill from her garden, and TR is coming by with fresh flowers. How about that be? <laughs> TR, by the way, the hottest gay guy that's ever walked the planet. Like she has four <laughs> gay friends, three of them do not look particularly well, they're either too fat or don't look particularly healthy. Right. And then TR is just like, bling, like he's beautiful and great. He comes by like, thanks, Ina. And he's, he's, the, like, he's the gay from the other side of the tracks. Yes, definitely. <laughs> and then Jeffrey shows up and she acts surprised. Look at that. You make a chicken and a man shows up. <laughs> <laughs> I always said, it's almost like she's in like, she's the gimp. And they let her out of that leather suit and ball gag. And like, if you fuck this up, you're going right back in the box. And she's like, don't have too much fun without me. But she means it. Like, don't have too much fun. (laughs) Because I'll be back in the box if you guys don't enjoy my flan. (laughs) That's the sound of my nap. It used to be Law and Order. Now, whenever I get a nap, it seems to be that amazingly soothing. I'm not kidding. This, the sound of her using that grinder, that... Mm-hmm. And doom, 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 that music. So yes, Chopped. You know what else is good? I, if, if you want a soothing cooking show, Jamie at Home. Jamie Love Oliver Jamie at Home. home. It's like, hot, it's like, uh, like a hot chocolate yeah. on, a, on, a, on a winner's day. It's, it's, it, it, it's just soothing. And he, We're and he's the new awesome. yeah. demographic that's unaccounted for for these channels. Yeah. And that's I, I did a big pitch to Bravo, and they just shot me down like a fucking paratrooper over Normandy. I was like, I'm the guy. Like, I'm the jock right. that only watches right. this. Like, yeah, you got the Kathy Griffin stuff. Right. That's it. You're preaching to the choir, but this is a whole world here. Now, Ken Marino, Jay Moore, together, here you go, Food Network. We're the new crew. Sweet genius? Sweet genius, sweet genius. I'm a sweet I, genius. Are you? Uh, I am a sweet genius. I love Nigella a lot. I don't watch Nigella as much. Uh, it's very soothing. Yeah. She took a lot of shit from the British press because they said it was like porn because she because she would eat on camera. And she's pretty, I think, basically because <sighs> she would lick her lips with chocolate oh, on them. Man. But uh, I mean, Emerald at one time had that live show. Yeah, like hey, Doc Gibbs. Right, you know, right, like, right, right. You can tell the quality of show by what instrument your band leader plays. <laughs> like it really says a lot. Like, like Johnny was so cool. It was a fucking sack. It was a trumpet player. Like you know, hey, let's go. Hey, uh, there's Doc, and Doc would be like blowing out the you know the right. tunes. And then uh, Ed McMahon's got Paul Schaefer. It's late at night. It's a little wacky. It's keyboards. Conan's mm-hmm. got fucking Max Weinberg. Like there's right. your cool card. Uh, Emerald. Black old bongo player. <laughs> Which I actually... Doc Gibbs in a Doc Gibbs band. It might have been my favorite part of the show, actually. 
I really did like when they kind of went out on, you know, went to commercial on Doc Gibbs. <laughs> they, I've never heard anybody say anything, but Emerald was like the hardest working, sweetest guy. They gave him a sitcom. Yeah. They tried that? hard. And they go, he tried. People that worked on the show were telling me, oh my God, no one ever tried so hard. And yeah, you tried, can tell. <laughs> he was like, you can definitely the tell. The girl in the Little League team, like, she tries so hard. <sighs> She runs so hard the first I bet day. he sweat. I bet they had a lot of extra clothes for him. Yeah, he sweats a lot. I bet he sweat, especially when he's like trying to do a four camera in front of a live studio audience Hey, show. who let all these kids in here? <laughs> Bang! <laughs> uh, so you, you, you didn't start on the state. That, you, where, where was your first comedy stuff that you did? Were you a stand-up? Uh, no, I'm, I've never been a stand-up. 